Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Let's see what's going on in the overall energy dynamics. Let's go to... Hope everybody's doing well. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Okay. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck. Two. Power of number seven. Power of number two. And power of number five. Okay, it looks like we're going to the number 14. 14 in tarot is temperance, the guardian angel card. Some of you Scorpios are dealing with a Cancer or a Leo born in the month of July. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. You could also be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. You could also be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus born in the month of April. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. However, with the power of number one, that can also bring in Gemini energy again, Virgo and Aries. Number 14 brings in Sagittarius energy. You could be dealing with a Sag or a Capricorn born in the month of December. Strong Aquarius energy coming in through the number 17. Pisces energy coming in through the number 12. Capricorn energy coming in again through the number 15. Some of you could be 21, 24, 25, or 27 years of age. You could be 41, 42, 45 or possibly 47 years old. You could also be 51, 52, 54, or 57 years of age for my more mature audience. You could have also been born in 1951, 1952, 1954, or 1957. Again, for my more mature audience. You could have also been born in 1971, 1972, 1974, or possibly even 1975. For some of you. So going to the power of number 14 for the beautiful star sign of Scorpio. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And 14, trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please? What does Scorpio need to know at this time frame? Mm. <laughs> And Mr. Casanova or Ms. Casanova of love. There's a love offer, flirtatious text message, could be a new soulmate, a knight of cups. I'm hearing the song. I think it's Franz Ferdinand, Take Me Out. <laughs> Take Me Out. Mm, maybe. Got a nine of cups on the bottom of the deck. It's like wish fulfillment. Somebody could be very charmed by you, Scorpio, or smitten. This person could be at a distance. Could be an emotional distance. Or they're in your same local hub or vicinity. Somebody wants to bring in romance or wondering their romantic life is going to kind of 
get back back in the saddle again, you know what I mean? However, looking a little bit more deeply into the Knight of Cups and the imagery of the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups is on a white horse. And the white horse also represents purity, pure love. Mm. I'm hearing the song from Crystal Waters, 100%. Ooh, I got goosebumps up my right thigh. There might be another person headed in your direction. Could be choices. Choices or options in love. Not only are they going to bring you love, but even if this is one and the same person, they're going to bring you love and stability. Hmm. 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 You know, it kind of makes me wonder if I go into the after tarot, if the two of swords is going to come up where there's two guys fighting over the woman. You could also be in a same sex relationship. It doesn't matter. There are choices. Hmm. Got a white horse and a black horse. The yin and the yang. Black horse is nobility. Loyalty. Mm, you might have some choices in love where you may not be able to make a decision or you're going to feel imbalanced. Two of pentacles. Some of you, if you think you might know this person, you could have known them for maybe up to the last two years for some of you. Others of you have had a longer connection. Juggling. Apples and oranges. Or somebody's been juggling you. You and another person. So I'm not going to disregard that. But on the Two of Pentacles, and since this is the Game of Thrones deck, it says a Lannister always pays his debts. Somebody may feel that they owe you something. Could be an apology. Or they know that maybe the way that they left the relationship, that they're going to owe you big time. In my mind, I'm seeing the sun card. You could be dealing with a Leo right now. I've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy as well, and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio you could be dealing with. Let's see here. We're going to go into the Hidden Truth Oracle. Okay. We will be together again. We go together like Rambo, Rambo, Rambo. Do, 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 do. Remember forever like she loved you one one. Some of you guys are Grease fans. Like John Travolta. We will be together again. Wherever you go, wherever you roam, I will find you. <laughs> I feel like I have the direct like polar opposites going on right now. Okay. Maybe where one door closes, another one opens. Clarifying the Knight of Coins. You could have these choices or options in love where you need to let go of somebody or we need to let each other go or they let you go in the past. Now they've been slowly making their way towards you. But I almost feel like one door closes, one door opens. Somebody feels that 
they're meant to be with you. There could have been choices or options in love in the past where the one that you wanted to be with wasn't ready. Then a new person could have came in. That might not have gone so well. And that could have dissolved. And then the door is opening again where it could be this person from the past, the one that you really wanted to be with. Headed in your direction. So the Knight of Cups wants reconciliation. And the one that you thought that maybe was going to be more of stable quality didn't exactly maybe end up being so stable. So I'm seeing situations like that. On the bottom of the deck, I can't stop thinking about you. Just being near you is intoxicating, but yet they're juggling for some of them. But they also feel like they owe you. I feel more or less it's if they really truly want to be humble. I'm kind of feeling like the Knight of Cups is the one that is going to be a little bit more humble than this Knight of Coins. Let's go into... Romance Angels deck. Okay. Clarifying the Knight of Cups. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So this person has intentions on marriage. We have a couple in a wedding attire. This person who's in the Knight of Pentacles, yeah, they do have attraction for you. But they could definitely have been more materialistic. They may not have been as balanced. They could have been all work, no play, or all work, no action towards you, or wherever their priorities were at. It almost feels like maybe this person in the Knight of Coins was not making you their number one priority, even though massive attraction for you. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment or this person is the type that lives in the moment, doesn't think about tomorrow or picking up the tuxedo or the china patterns, okay? Um, which could have left you in a state of confusion, not knowing what you were to this person, like status-wise, flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Either way, even if you feel that this person could be one in the same, I'm seeing it also too as choices or options, two different people that could be coming in your direction that you may have to decide or choose from. And both of them are flirtatious. They retreated in the past. So they kind of left you in the five of cups, five of pentacles type of energy feeling ghosted, rejected, annihilated, not good enough. I think it was, it was really the lies, Scorpio. It was the lies. It was the fact that they just could not find it within them to be authentic and transparent. But you're the one that's going to make a final judgment call. I'm seeing judgment in my mind's eye right now. You're the one that will pretty much either have the last laugh or the, or you get to choose two of cups. You've got union coming. For some of you guys, it could be in the next two days or 60 days. It could be two months. Yeah. Somebody's going to be, you know, be bringing the truth or there's going to be victory and success or mental clarity. Communication coming in from out of the blue or from a distance. An unexpected text message or phone call. Somebody wanting to work out a situation. Three of Pentacles. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. They want that Ten of Cups with you. That over the rainbow moment. There's a shift. I think what could be best right now, Scorpio, is for you basically to just do a guided meditation for just in generalization, soulmate, okay? 
be open-minded to, you know, to receive, of course, but instead of maybe if, if the person, if you feel like this is a specific person, your, your subconscious mind is already pretty much on autopilot. So you're going to be thinking of this person in general. So more than likely listening to a guided meditation for a specific person or just soulmate in general, more than likely it's going to be that person to show up. However, if you're trying to relieve yourself of some of this anxiety of the disconnect between the two of you, it would probably be best just to listen to a soulmate as a generalization, working on your heart chakra, because trust is something that has been broken between you and this person. Okay, but you need to have trust and confidence and full faith that even if you didn't want this person from the past, the new soulmate, that you are prepared to receive the goodness in your life. Because either way, you can end up being happy. Okay, it's your mindset right now because you're attracting, again, attraction card. So a couple variable storylines going on in there, possible choices and options. If you're not sure in which way to manifest, listen, you guys, it's true. Guided meditations are the easiest and fastest way. It puts you in a great mood listening to the, the sound beats that are going on behind those positive statements that are infiltrating that subconscious mind of yours, okay? Um, it's going to shift you. It's going to shift your overall feeling, like not feeling anxiety or worry or stress or whatever the case may be or all the confusion that you've been going through. And if you feel like, well, I have done meditations, it's just not working. Yeah, they do. They do work. You're just not being consistent. That's the whole That's the whole thing. Every morning when I get up, I'm in the habit now, more so. I Instead of scrolling on social media, don't do it, you guys, because it's going to totally... It, that in itself is just going to set the tone for the rest of your mindset for the whole entire day. Okay. Listen to words that get you going. Okay. Because the higher vibrational frequency you're in, doesn't matter who you're manifesting for. You will have them coming in your direction because you're going up. Okay. So this person... When they say just being near you is intoxicating, yeah, they, they want to flirt with you. Or they're having daydreams. I'm picking that up too. They're having daydreams of what it would be like to be in your presence. So again, even with new person, they're feeling your energy or wondering what would it be like to be in your presence but possibly something of the past or letting go of all of the pain, the sorrow, the suffering, the love trauma that you've experienced so that this awesome Knight of Cups type of person can come in, you know. They might even drive a white car. They might drive a black car. You never know. Um, not literally coming in on a horse. <laughs> If somebody wants to make an offer or there are two people that want to make an offer to you. Let's go into the after tarot. Message from the Knight of Cups. This person feels like they could have missed out on an opportunity with you. Or they know that they need to step up to the plate instead of having these disappointing situations. Somebody wants to wave the white flag. Five of Wands in the after tarot. It shows a calm or peaceful. Let's just let's just make amends. Not necessarily brush things under the rug, but this other person, you could have, if there was another choice or an option, this other person could have been like, yeah, we just need to take a break, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like this person in the Knight of Cups is more enthusiastic 
or feeling more confident, more self-assured of themselves to come forward. Chariot. One of my favorite major arcanas. The chariot. Forward movement. Or they're going to go to great lengths to make things happen between the two of you. To bring you in the Ten of Pentacles. To bring you in eventually commitment. So there will be a choice. I do feel that there is a judgment call. It's kind of time to turn the tables around in your mindset, Scorpio. Don't put this person, if you feel it, some of their characteristic traits are resonating with what's coming out in the cards, don't, don't put them up here. Rearrange the situation. You're up here, okay? You're up here. People come to you. You have to get into that mindset and stop thinking small, okay? They're bringing you, they want to bring you marriage and commitment. To go from a two, a two of coins to a ten of coins, that's a massive shift. That would be a massive turnaround. But this person does have attraction for you. And they either want to get away with you, take you somewhere maybe for a few days, past tense. They feel like they missed out on an opportunity and wanting to come in and balance. But they will be flirtatious, so be conscientious of that. They could have told you in the past that they felt like, no, this just isn't working and I'm into somebody else and blah, blah, blah. I mean, they could have just been very blunt, just still kind of left you... You know, feeling like a deer in headlights. It feels like they're trying to come back around the bend again. And wherever, again, it's like, wherever you are, wherever you roam, I will find you. Is that Liam Nielsen from Taken? I will find you. <laughs> so, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. Running a March Madness reading special for the month, of course, of March of 2024. Four questions for $25. Normally, I charge $40 for four questions. So if you'd like to get on my recording schedule throughout this month, Victoria will get you on the week that is open and available and um, look forward to doing maybe a future reading for you. So be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, take care.